Over the past few weeks, we've been taking a look at various different aspects of the PS5 and the next-gen Xbox consoles, and seeing how the two stack up against each other in various regards, from price and launch titles and their technical specifications to their online services and controllers. Now, it's time to talk about some more fundamental details of both pieces of machinery, which is exactly what we'll be doing here in this feature. So let's start with something basic. What's in the box? That's the most fundamental question you might be asking. When you buy a PS5 or an Xbox Series X or Series S, what exactly will you be getting inside of the box that you'll be taking home with you? Microsoft and Sony have both revealed the exact contents of their respective boxes, and there's no surprises in either console. With the Xbox Series S and Series X, you'll get the console itself, a new Xbox controller, and a power cable, obviously. You'll also get an HDMI 2.1 cable with the Series X, but with the Xbox Series S, though, you'll only get a regular high-speed HDMI cable. Meanwhile, if you purchase one of the two consoles via the Xbox All Access option, if you're in one of the 12 countries that has All Access, that is, you'll also be getting 24 months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Otherwise, Game Pass is a separate purchase. On the PlayStation 5 front, things are more or less the same. Inside the box, you'll get either a PS5 or a PS5 Digital Edition, the console's power cord, a DualSense controller, a USB cable to charge that controller with, and an HDMI cable. You'll also get a base, which you can use to place your PS5 either vertically or horizontally, while every PS5 will also come pre-installed with Astro's Playroom. Form Factor Both the PS5 and Xbox have gone with rather unusual designs for their boxes, which is good, seeing as consoles had started looking more and more like boring vanilla boxes as time went on. That means that there's plenty to speak of when talking about the console's form factor as well. The smallest console of the lot is by far the Xbox Series S. It's 60% smaller than the Xbox Series X, and according to Microsoft, it is flat out the smallest Xbox console ever made. Its dimensions are only 65 by 151 by 275 millimeters, and it will weigh about 2 kilograms. All in all, Microsoft says the console's small enough to easily fit inside of a backpack, and it sure looks that way. Its big brother is, aptly enough, a big boy. The Xbox Series X's monolithic tower design has been grabbing headlines since the moment Microsoft first talked about it at the Game Awards in December of last year. And that, as you would imagine, means the box is not a diminutive one by any means. Its dimensions are 151 by 151 by 301 millimeters, and it's a pretty heavy console too, at roughly 4.5 kilograms. Then there's the PS5, which is roughly the same size as the Xbox Series X, if not marginally larger. Its dimensions are 390 by 104 by 260 millimeters and weighs about 4.5 kilograms. The digital edition is slightly smaller, with dimensions of 390 by 92 by 260 millimeters and a weight of 3.9 kilograms. Ports and connectivity. When it comes to connectivity, the PS5 is looking pretty future proof. It's been confirmed that the PS5 and its digital edition will feature support for Wi Fi 6, which is as up to date as it can get right now. Wi Fi 6 offers download speeds of up to 9.6 gigabits per second, which is significantly more than the 3.5 gigabits max speed that the PS4 Pro offered, and even more than the 300 megabits per second of the base PS4. The PS5 is also as future proof in terms of Bluetooth connectivity as well, and will feature support for Bluetooth 5.1. That's not entirely up to date, with 5.2 recently having come out, but it's still pretty future proof. And what ports exactly will the PS5 have? There will be four USB ports, one high speed Type A port, two super speed Type A ports, and one super speed Type C port. There will also be an Ethernet socket. The PS5 will have a 350 watt power socket, while the PS5 Digital Edition will have a 340 watt power socket. And what about the two Xbox consoles? The Xbox Series X and Series S feature support for Wi Fi 5 which means that they're lagging behind the PS5, with max download speeds of 3.5 gigabits per second. Both consoles also have three USB 3.1 ports, but it's been confirmed that there will be no USB-C ports, which is a little disappointing. 
all three ports are for USB Type-A. The Xbox Series X and Series S both have an additional slot for SSD expansions, an Ethernet cable, an HDMI 2.1 out, and power sockets. Though curiously, Microsoft haven't yet officially revealed the exact power draw for either console. Estimates suggest that the Xbox Series X's power draw might be up to 300 watts. Additionally, both the Series X and Series S also feature braille bumps next to their ports, which is yet another crucial step Microsoft have taken in their constant bid for greater accessibility. Conclusion Well, there isn't really much of a conclusion to draw here, at least in terms of comparisons. It's not like we're speaking about things such as the launch lineup or prices, or which console has the better controller. These are dry facts and won't really be major factors that most will consider when making a purchasing decision. The PS5 is the more future-proof console as far as connectivity is concerned, with both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It also has a rather heavy power draw at 350 and 340 watts for its two SKUs. But there isn't a comparison to be made here either, since Microsoft haven't even revealed the exact numbers for their consoles on that front. When it comes to the form factor, which of the consoles you prefer boils down entirely to your personal tastes. Though as far as dimensions are concerned, it's hard to beat the convenience that the Xbox Series S's small size and stature go hand in hand. And that wraps it up. If you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos daily, so make sure you don't miss them by subscribing. We appreciate your support and we thank you for checking us out.